It's time for laughs. It's time for fun. It's time to learn for everyone at Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. In this video, you will need cardboard, a piece of cardboard cut 14 and a half inches by six inches wide, and two smaller pieces, two by four inches. A ruler, scissors, a pen, self Velcro stickers, glue gun, and extra glue sticks, a hole punch, string or whatever you plan on using for the handle, white glue, decorative glue, nail polish for decorating, and acrylic colored paint. Hello and welcome back to Nana's Cooking and Craft Corner. And on today's video, we're going to learn how to make these lovely little gift box purses, which can also be used as a little file folder, like for coupons or whatever you'd like it for. So we're going to start off with cardboard. Now you're going to have to cut a piece that is 14 and a half inches wide, sorry, long, by six inches wide. And then two smaller ones, which is Two inches wide and long is four inches, and I'll show you in a few minutes. And it's got to be cut vertically across where the lines are, okay? As you can see, I cut the one 14 and a half by six, and then you have two little ones, two inches by four inches. What you do is measure off four inches from the bottom, and then an, another line put two inches above that, and another four inches and another line okay it's not that hard four inches here measure up two inches four inches and then do another line next you're going to peel off the cardboard lightly and you can use a pair of scissors and go like this and get all the creases and lift it up and don't go through all the way through okay just the top part of the paper all on the two sides and the top until the very top we measured the line up here you're going to peel this off, take the scissors, be careful, and just peel it off until you get it all cleaned off up to your, your top folded line. Okay, so now we all we cleaned up the top part of the box and you did this to the two sides. I'm going to fold it up and we're going to put some glue and be careful not to burn yourself, okay? And if this is um, somebody young, make sure your parents around to use the glue gun. So we're going to put glue all the way here, all the way around the side. Okay, so we're going to glue all the way around the edge. And then we're going to take the piece, the side piece, and make sure, I'm going to have to look at this from the top, but make sure it all lines up really nicely. Uh, there. And here, it is a little tricky, but you can do it and have patience. There, I might need a little more glue if it doesn't work. A little more. Okay, and then you continue gluing the rest of this box. The other side, the same as I just showed you. So it'll all come together like this, okay? Now I cut the front, you can leave it straight across. I have different ways of doing this. You can go to a point, around circle using a plate, or straight across, okay? So we're at this point, we can start to paint it. Okay, and the next point is, which I've already done though for you, is you're gonna take a hole punch and punch holes in as far as you can put it in on both sides okay and then you have already made up any kind of handle you want okay um, I made ribbon ones 
Um, if you put string together three times, like so, long enough, put a little bit of glue and twist it and let it dry, then you can put that on there. Or paper. If you take paper and twist and keep twisting, twisting, it's going to become very tiny. Then it looks like this. And then I put glue over top of it to stiffen it, and I painted the handles. And this one I put sparkly glue on it. The thing is the decorations. You can decorate any type of thing you'd like. In this case, I use some nail polish, or you can use acrylic paint, depending on what you want to do. And then you fancy it up the, whatever way you'd like. And also, I use, to close it, they come in all kinds of sizes. They're uh, Velcro self-sticking closures, and you just put them on both sides and close it. And then you have this cute little adorable gift purse. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon at Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. Bye!